Hi guys. Hi. Who are we? It's been a hot minute. <laughs> <laughs> mm, been a while, eh? Do we even know? Who who are you? I'm Vanessa. And I'm Sue. Hello. And we're coming to you all the way from Invercargill, New Zealand. At the very bottom of the South Island, practically with the penguins. Practically. Practically. Uh, we are a knitting and crafty podcast. With a little bit of waffle chucked in. A fair bit. A little fair. bit of swearing. Yes. Yes. yes, swearing friendly from the outset. So, yes. Yeah. Be clear. And it has been at least six months since we had podcast. Really has. Really, really has. <laughs> Why is that, Vanessa? Um, Life. Yeah. 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 So we, I thought we did really well because I think we did maybe two podcasts in one month or Whoa. not very far apart. Yeah, we were like chucking along. Yeah, yeah we can do And this. I thought we, <clears throat> we, we were very... Um, you know, we're thinking that we were going to keep that up, but we didn't. No. Uh, no, because life got in the way. But yeah. hey, we made it back here. Yeah, because why is that, Vanessa? Because we're dedicated. Because this is what we want. <laughs> we want to be here. Dedication, yeah. We do, and we do, and I, yeah, we do. Mm. We do, we like it. We like doing mm. this. We've had fun, and we want to continue. Yeah, so, but we've had a few things in our lives mm. happen. You've, um, yeah. You've lost some things, but gained some things. Yeah. 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 Poor, those fans of the show um, will remember often my cat Sprocket would walk ar walk across the screen and show his bottom. Unfortunately, he um, passed away mm. earlier in the year. So um, that was, that was sad times, mm. sad times because Sprocket was a, was a feature, quite a, yeah, quite a feature in our, in our Farno. So he passed away. Um, and I gained two new kittens who have currently gone AWOL, so hopefully they've not disappeared, mm. but anyway, um, who mm. are a little bit shy. Very. Very shy. Extremely. Like Vanessa <laughs> hasn't even batted them. No. They see people coming and mm. shoo, ah! run around. But that's okay. Um, but they're getting better, they're getting better. So Sky is a tabby girl and Jura um, is a black and white boy. And... Um, for 10 points, if you know what they're named after, I'll leave that with you. Okay. <laughs> with them, yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And what else has been happening? I feel like a lot has happened, but really I can't think of anything. Nothing too, too dramatic. No, no. We've had winter. Yes, winter's happened. It's now spring, second day of spring. It is. Officially. But the daffodils are out and yes. there's lots of lemmies around. Mm-hmm. Um... Yeah, that's better. COVID's still chicken along. <sighs> COVID's doing its thing. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I feel like we're three minutes in and uh, we've waffled. We've already about... waffled yeah. and, yeah, probably boring you to, yeah. to death. So. Okay, so let's crack into it. Yes, so we are all about the things. Um, both of us have sat here going, oh, I've got nothing to show. But <laughs> we will We will, um, We will. will try and find some stuff. So... Where um, you go, so Have you got uh, some completed objects? Yes, yeah, so I've got a couple of completed objects. And I may take... The camera on a wee trip oh. to show another thing. So, are they, you're going to want to know details, and I probably can't do it. Um, okay, so here we go. Ta -da. Ta -da. What's that? You ask. It's of course. It's a unicorn head. Clearly, it is. Hello. So, those of you fans of the show will know that I'm a unicorn collector because I'm 41 and I like unicorns. All right. If you've got a problem <laughs> with it, fuck off. Um, so I made a unicorn head and, um, by a lovely lady in the UK and you're going to ask me what she's called and I think she's called Emma Makes. Ah, yes. Is she? I don't know. But no, I don't think good. it is. I think that's somebody else. Oh, we're, we're, we'll we're starting. It. We'll link it anyway. Mm -hmm. But she mainly does animal heads and creative kind of animals. So I've also done another one, but I, which I will... Actually, what I'll do is I'll do a video later and I'll somehow try and learn and how to Go edit on. it because we've already got a good setup and I don't want to move it. They've also mm -hmm. made a Highland Coup, um, which is very cute, it is very um, which is in the living room, mm -hmm. but is stuck on the wall. So, yeah, so I've made these. So didn't take very long. Nice, chunky wool. Everything comes in the kit. Mm -hmm. You get the wee... And she does dry it one. So I've previously done a... Um, uh, fox. The fox, is it? Yeah. The fox, yeah. Yeah. So, um, mm. she's very, she seems a very quirky 
Yum. Lady. So she's lots of kinds of animals. Cool. Yeah. So anyway, so mm -hmm. um, unicorn head. Mm -hmm. And I've been doing a lot of hats. Mm. Actually, I've got another hat to show. Oh, I could have oh. brought my hat. see. But, um, oh, where's my other hat? I'll go get my other hat. Oh my gosh. Go, go. Oh, I, that means I have to be here. You've got to clap. Uh, um, go on. Clap. So guys, <laughs> how's it all going? Oh, um, I've got nothing to say. Sorry. So <laughs> I'm just, uh, <laughs> we'll just wait for Sue to come along. Okay, oh, and there she is. Thank goodness. That was a bit, whew. Oh dear, that was dreadful. It <laughs> was dreadful. Okay, so, um, <laughs> yeah, I've made a hat. I've made lots of hats. Mm. This is, um, mm. so this is the Jason's Cashmere. <clears throat> Um, pattern which I've used many a time. This is <laughs> I can't even tell you what yarn this is. <laughs> Did you get it from? Yeah, I got it from um, the, not Book Depository, the Wool Depository. Wool, 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 yeah, yeah. Um, and it was for a jumper. I've got, we'll do a link. Um, which we're doing so well. I don't know. I did this thing and it's made out of some stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, yeah. honestly, we're. Would you believe we're not professional? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and it's got a pink pom pom on, which I got from Nana Cindy. Mm. Um, and she's getting, she's actually closed her shop, so you can't even get one. So. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. No, yeah. but it's cool, and yeah. um, it smells like a sheep, and I look cool in it. Very, um, it's lovely. Yeah, lovely. and it didn't take very long. So I've also made one for my boss, my boss's boss. Um, in um, our friend mm -hmm. Hannah, who doesn't sponsor the show but really should, um, yeah, just say <laughs> in her yarn, which knitted up beautifully. But I will also try and put a photo in. I'm going to learn all these things. Mm -hmm. Um, and then this is my latest. It's so creation, cool. I love them, which I'm very excited about, and mm. I really, really like. Um, so this is the pattern I got mm. from. Um, Ravelry, Etcher, um, Colour Work, using yarn, the yellow's yarn therapy, I can't remember where the grey is. Isn't the grey from Hannah? No, oh is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I think it is, yeah. it is Hannah, you're mm. quite right. Many a title, um, yeah? Yeah. Many a title wool. And, look at that for cuteness. That is gorgeous. I think I look like a little elf. Mm. Hello. Very I'm cool. I'm a little elf. And it's, oh I love that colour work. Beautiful. Oh, and gotta be honest, this bit took forever. Took weeks. Mm. This bit, I did it in three days. Mm. Nice. Three days. I'm a machine. Mm. Yeah, you are. Hello, I'm a knitting machine. Uh, aren't you glad you're tuning in? Um, <laughs> we aren't on yeah. drugs either. No, just super tired. Sorry. Yeah, really tired. Yeah. And we've both had coffee. Yeah, which is, oh dear. Not great. <laughs> Who knows where this is going um, But I, I just think cutest thing i feel like i'm in norway yeah i feel like i've like i'm sitting on my deck and in snow, snow. Yeah. yeah i like hello my name is who i am from norway i probably not wouldn't say that's probably being racist um it's awesome though well, well. i love it and where's the pom-pom from you um that's also that's nana cindy, cindy yep. and nana cindy is going on a hiatus and it's oh. a shame because she has great pom-poms mm. um really she also young. is an excellent yarn buyer mm. um Yes, so they are the things I've made. Cool. I think I've made some other things, but oh, I can't remember. There'll be plenty. Oh, you've made a baby thing. I mean, oh, in the yeah, six I months mean, that we've, yes, there's been yeah. some other stuff. Yeah, I did make a baby thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, mm. so there we go. What have you done? Um, nothing. <laughs> no, I, I have. I've made a hat, which I, I only just remembered now. Oh, yeah, I've that's made. really nice. Yeah, maybe I really like I'll that try hat. and do I'll try and, yeah. Maybe I can send a picture. Yeah. Picky chair. All of a sudden. We could maybe go, woo, and like you could try and put it right there. Oh, goodness. I'm going to hide. So, yeah, what I'm going to do, everybody, is I'm going to watch a tutorial and learn how to edit better. Yes, yes. It's going to be yeah. exciting and it's going to bring us to the next level. Maybe. <laughs> may um, not. I may only get, I may get bored and only watch 15 minutes of it, which is generally what happens to me. 
Well, that's fine. Um, so I've made some socks that I gave. Oh, there was a lot of stress actually earlier on this year because I had stupidly um, said yes to, um, you know, knitting other people some stuff. Oh, but I managed I to get that. that all out of the way. So now I feel a lot freer. I definitely lost my mojo again, which was really sucky. I made some uh, baby stuff for a little nephew that's just come along. So uh, just sent that off today. Um, and so, yeah, I've just been really boring, really. Um, but one thing I have been doing is getting back into my spinning. Mm. And so I managed to spin up this 100 grams of Countess of Blaze, which was a lovely gift from Sue. Um, and I forget what what fibres were in it, but it's beautiful. Um, and That's it's got so all these gorgeous. cool colours and things through it. I mean, don't look too closely at my spinning because it's not, I'm not like at all any kind of expert, but it brings me joy. So, and it was nice to actually finish um, something. So that was really cool. What's it feel like? Um, that's what it feels like. I think there's a cool Andrea Maori um, pattern called Shifted or the Shifty. Mm. It's just a little cow and it requires, I think maybe three um, skeins. And I think this would look really cool um, incorporated it into that. So I'm, I'm thinking maybe I'll use this for that. This is so funky. <coughs> oh, Countess of Blaze has also stopped dying. Yeah. Which is, really, which is a big shame. It is a big but shame. But she's gone to um, do something in computers. I think. Oh, wow. Mm. So that was mine, nice and quick. Nice. Yeah. You have made other things. I have, but I couldn't remember <laughs> where they all were. And... We They're promise not to get back very in. exciting because you know it's just more hats and socks. I do. I have all these plans. Hats and socks. And hats and socks and hats and socks and hats and socks. Right. What um, are you working on? What I'm working on. Well, what I did, which I don't normally do, is I kept project on the go while I did another while I did another project, Whoa. which I know is quite common for other people, but not for me. So, um, it's a sock. Okay. Um, and so, voila, beautiful. Voila. So it's un, un sock. Un. Un sock. Uh, this is purple mm. sprouting. Mm. I think it was a sock. What would I like to call a sock set? I uh, could almost, I oh, think I could so probably pretty. tell you a colour if I thought about it. I do like it. Um, it's mm. lovely. Mm. It's lovely. Um, that's, hang on, bear with. Here we go. Are we all ready for this? Probably not. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Here we go. So it's a super sock set and um, it's holly go lightly nice. yeah. and mustard yellow. Beautiful. Um, SW Merino, 75%, 25% nylon twist. Um, yes. So, and I started the second, I, the second one last night. I said I've done the rib wrong, but it doesn't yeah. matter. You will know. No one's going to You know. will. But if you tell me one, mm. I'll come down there and I'll slap you. Um, <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> um. uh, yes. So, and then I'm not going to do what I'm going to do next, really, because I've really enjoyed doing small knits. Oh, yes. I've really enjoyed doing the hats. I love a hat, but, mm. like... There's only so many hats you need. And now, it's obviously, it's going to be mm. brilliant weather now. <laughs> mm. Mm, probably not. Um... Yeah, so I don't, I don't know what to do next. Knits? Maybe some more knits? Yeah, maybe. Mm. I don't know. I don't, I kind of want to do a jumper, mm. but I also don't want to put in the effort of doing it for like 17,000 mm. months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a bit the same, actually. I really want to do lots of jumpers, but, oh, that's a lot of, it. a lot of, I think there's a lot of lead up to it, because you've got yeah. to, you know, and I, it's, the old thing is I've got, Plenty of yarn, but I don't want to use the yarn for the patterns that I want to make. Mm. I need more yarn mm. for the patterns that I want to make. And the yarn that I have, I had ideas for patterns, mm. and now I don't want to do those. And, oh, it's very, very, it's so hard, isn't it? Um, first world problems. <laughs> That's what I think about that. First show. Yeah. Um, pro tell. What okay. Have you got? What have I been working on? Well, um... When I do get some mojo in me, I have been 
slaving away at trying to finish my last year's Stephen West shawl. Stephen West. West. Stephen West. Stephen West. West. Stephen West. Stephen what, West. Speak properly, woman. Should I go this way? I don't know if it can be seen. So I know everybody else has probably finished these um, last year and everybody's probably about to start the, the next one, which I am not. No, I love I. seeing this dearly, but um, I think one. Look, no, am I doing another MCAL? <laughs> yeah, MCALs, man. Oh, mm -hmm. the stress of it. Um, love but him. Love him. so I popped this away. Like I had come down, I had. I had um, just gotten myself to here before the brioche part and then just lost all will to live. No, it was easy. Like for me, I didn't find it hard. It was great. His tutorials are amazing. I just, you know, it's he's amazing. just wonderful. There's amazing techniques in there. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I don't know, I just lost steam when I got to the brioche part and went and put it down for a year. And then I decided I really needed these um, needles and the cable, but I thought I'm not putting this on some spare yarn and then having it sit somewhere for 10 years. So I'm going to finish it. So then I cracked into the um, the brioche part and the brioche is really lovely. That was my first time brioching. Uh, and it did get me back in a wee bit more into, you know, more mojo happening. And now I think I've just got the last little bit to go, which on this, I forget what this one's called, the shallography, that's right. Um, and the last part is just a, um, a striped section along here using all the colours that you've oh, yeah. you've got in the, um, the main body. <clears throat> so that's going to be fun to have that finished. Um, and just to actually complete something. Yeah. <laughs> something bigger than a sock. It's going to be great. Um, but it does require a little bit of brain power because even just like to read the next step of the way. And, and I just don't have brain power at the moment. So I do find that um, I can only sort of pick it up at certain times. Um, I'm not 100% in love with this because I love all of these colours by themselves. But put all together, it's just a bit much for me. But we have a good friend who I've already promised it to, <laughs> Alana. Because uh, it's all of her colours mm, and she, mm. she has said that she'll love it very much so it's nice to know that it's going to go to someone worthy mm. so that's oh and all the different yarn in there there is this gray is some hand spun alpaca that i got from mary grant who i've forgotten the name of her um little um, alpaca BJ's? southern no southern. oh different yeah different, oh, different. yeah um, the pink is some beautiful merino silk from Featherbrush Yarns, who I'm not sure, I don't know if she's dying anymore. Um, and the other three, I don't actually know, like this was, they were gift knits, a uh, gift yarn and I can't remember. Um, maybe the purple is from, oh, Little Red Yarns, but I don't quote me on that. So that's. That's one. And then, oh, I've also been doing a bit more spinning. Mm. And I thought about taking off the bobbin that I have um, on my wheel. But it's a bit of a faff to get off. And I thought, oh, I'll just bring the fibre that I'm spinning. Um, this, this I've, It was 100 grams and I've got this much to go. And um, this fibre is from... Uh, 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 Artemis Fibers. Oh yeah. <clears throat> who is um That's the name of my cousin's um child. Artemis. Mm. It's a good name. It means Diane. Oh. In Greek, I think. Diane. I think. Uh, right. Here we go. Um <laughs> Fun fact. <laughs> fun fact. Um Artemis Fibers is a dio from Christchurch and she oh she does beautiful. I love her fibre. It's probably my favourite um, fibre to spin. This one, I can't remember. I think it's got a bit of... It's definitely got some silk. And it might have a bit of pole worth as well. And merino. Or it might be just pole worth silk. I can't remember. But it's gorgeous. And I'm loving it. And it's really bringing me joy. And then, of course, I have... It's, um, it's spinning up lovely. Again. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this is just one of those, you know, just to have in the bag when you need something to knit on. Um, this yarn is some of Hannah's 
from Money oh, Toto Wool. That's nice. And I forgot, I think it could be speckled pebble. Pebble something. It's something. Uh, but it's some of her sock yarn. And I love it. I love her sock yarn. Mm. Mm. I haven't actually knitted any of her socks, <clears throat> but I just love knitting with her yarn. Mm. So that's mine. Oh, Stop. look at that. Done really quick. Boom, oh. boom, 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 right. boom, boom. So. And the acquisitions? Acquisitions? No, not really. None that I can show you. No. How about you? No, but um, I was, because I happened to have it to hand, um, mm. as a part of a Secret Santa, which was we did. for Christmas. Yeah, be for Christmas, and we didn't actually do mm. until, oh, there's a cat. Oh, good. It's not dead. That's good. Um, do we do it after your birthday? Yeah. Mm. I think it's like June. Awesome. Um, Midwinter, that's right. I got given um, this bag um, and it's for um, yarn cakes, which mm. um, which is awesome. Um, and it was grey and that, my cat's all the way up into that tree. Um, and my friend who gave it to me was like, that doesn't particularly look, look like you. So because it was quite grey and I'm not such a grey person. Um, so we put some, they gave me some um, transfers and I had quite a few already that I'd been given um, a blue tree a unicorn. So um, it's really cool, I like it. The only thing is with it, it's one of those where you can put your yarn through, which is cool, but if you want to take your yarn out, you're a bit stuck so I've not been putting my yarn through it mm. because I do tend to I've now got a bigger handbag I had to buy mm. a bigger handbag in order to put my knitting in because mm. my handbag wasn't big enough mm -hmm. so now I can just shove my knitting in so um yeah so I really like this I'm not sure it's from um it's called a net um made by net Ericsson um it's a, it's a nice size mm. I really like the handle it's a good size I like that it's got pockets too so yeah. yeah um and yeah cool. I like it so mm. there we go. That'll do. That'll do. Um, do we do? Mm -hmm. Reading corner. Reading corner. Reading corner. corner. Yeah. Reading corner. <laughs> that will not get any better. That no. is staying. That is staying the OG. <laughs> That's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be, folks. Um, okay. What are you okay. been reading? Listen. Okay. Watching. Great. It's all on my phone. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Um, bloody, bloody great. That's okay. That's great. The phone that we are. You know, We're filming on because we couldn't get the laptop to work. Yeah. Great. That's really great. Yeah. So, um, but I have, so Jane Frost stories um, investigates. Um, I think I've talked about those before, but I found um, that the writer had done a new one with her and the boyfriend doing investigative stuff and it's Ooh. just yeah it's really good so mm -hmm. based in the north pole and oh. she's the daughter of jack frost and she's the niece to father christmas and um she's a she's some kind of kind of elfy kind winter of thing elf. winter elf and um she does a bit of investigating murders on the side so um Fairly highbrow, as you can imagine. <laughs> ah, mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but really, but I love, I really, really love it. And there's um, a talking cat, so I love, I love a cat. Um, and um, I've recently got into another set of um, cosy murders. It's witch based with a talk, an actual talking cat. That cat only talks a little bit. This one actually talks a lot. And I can't remember, I was trying to tell you last night what it was called, nine something. Nine, I'll have to, have, oh, I'll just link it. Mm -hmm. But it's really cool. So it's kind of like, um, I'm on the second book. There's um, a witch and she um, owns a candle shop. Mm. Um, and um, But the candles um, like will create certain kind of things. Like um, you'll have like, a cool dream where you're like the superhero or you'll have like a sexy dream with like your favorite kind of film star or you'll have mm. your, your or your um your candles then you'll have a waterfall in your living room so kind of like anyway that's her that's her business which i quite like the idea of and then she's got a um a familiar who's um and she's called cora 
Ah, I very remember that last night. Mm. And um, the cat is called, oh, I can't remember the name of the cat, but she's quite grumpy and is quite mean. And um, and they stumble across some murders and they have to solve them. Right. And there's a love interest. And um, yeah, mm. once again, pretty up there. Pretty up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like pretty yeah. intellectual. Oh, got to really concentrate. Yeah. But I just can't get, I just, I listen to them at night time yeah. and they're, they're my escapism and I just want to be a witch with a talking cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that would be, that would be cool. And own some kind of like shop. Cool shop that people actually want to buy from. Yeah, yeah. and people, any nice people come into yes. it. And if yeah. you're, and if you're not nice, then you're told to bugger off. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, and been watching a lot of, I've been on annual leave this week and I've been watching um, lots of Strike Back, which is um, a quite opposite to what I'm reading, <laughs> which is about military intelligence and there's lots of shooting and wow. blowing up things. Okay. Which I also like. Wow. I'm quite eclectic. Diverse. I'm yeah. quite diverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah, quite mm-hmm. eclectic. I've got something in my eye. Mm. Um, Yes. What about you? What have you been reading and watching? Right. Well, I have oh, okay. listened, audiobooked, um, Where the Crawl Dads Sing. And I've forgotten who wrote that. But uh, it's I think it's quite the flavour at the moment. Pretty sure we're going to get a podcast award for this. I think so. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, I, I know Where the Crawl Dads Sing, I think it's been made into a movie. And, you know, it's names out there quite a bit. So I thought, oh, I'm going to get on that bandwagon and holy heck I loved it it's such a good book I can cool. totally um see why there's a big fuss being made out, out over it at the moment um I am reading to my boys at night I have two boys um who are 10 and 8 for those who don't know uh and yes I'm reading to them the Balgarid series which is uh by David Eddings and it was written back in the 90s, I think, and I first read it when I was about 12 back then. And it's just a gr- it's just a great fantasy. A group of people who have to come together for a common goal, and you know, it's classic sort of D and D type stuff. You've got a rogue, you've got a wizard, you've got, you know, um, yeah, just the brilliant elements that all come together, and the boys are loving it. So nice. um, that's really cool. And watching, I haven't really watched much of anything. Oh, actually, my husband and I have been watching Pieces of Her oh. on uh, Netflix. Really enjoying that. Um, and just trying to catch up with um, podcasters. Um, Ali from This Little, Little Wonderful, This Little Wonderful Life, and Little Drops of Wonderful. Um, I really, really love watching her podcasts. I do too. Mm. I, love um, her, I love her a lot. I love her more. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Um, I can't think of anybody, any, anything else that I've been listening or reading to. So that's me done. Yeah. No, I... I got a bit into a funk with my podcast because I have a lot of real life kind of murder ones um and i've just got a bit over horrible stuff i don't know if yeah. it's a horrible stuff yeah. at the moment so yeah i go through phases and then all of a sudden i'm all right again so mm. yeah okay well that, was, that seems very that's short. very quick very quick but i think we just wanted to get um get back on the horse mm. yeah yeah get back on the horse yeah. um because otherwise the horse would probably fall over and die well yes that too yeah so Um, yeah so probably not our best work but you know what if if you're a fan of the show you'll stick with us and um we love you and we want to keep doing this and yeah we'll We'll, um (laughs) i was gonna say we'll promise to get back into it a bit more but who knows what's gonna happen we'll try we will try we will try we try we only this is just a hobby and we both work and have 
Um, I have cat children, you have actual human children. Oh, something that's exciting. Oh yeah. Um, that um, is filling my life with joy right now. We got two chickens um, oh, just yeah. at the end of summer, start of winter, yes. Um, little Coco and Silver. And uh, one of the girls, Silver, decided she wanted to go broody. So just this morning, I have managed to um, uh, pick up some fertilized eggs from a, um, a random <laughs> contact that I got. Um, and in the chicken so, world. In the chicken world. Um, so I'm hoping that um, in three weeks, 21 days, we <gasps> might get some babies. Baby I'll pop them under um, Silver and see whether she can do some magic. Um, so yeah, so that's really exciting. Um, yes, speaking of spring and all, all things beautiful, yeah. Okay, I'm babbling. I'm so tired. No, that's good. <laughs> Our viewers want to want to know this. You stuff. like the bubble, right? Yes. Yes. I don't know if you do like the bubble, but um, we're gonna well talk This is what it is. That's what you've got, loves. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks um, for sticking around. Please subscribe. Yeah. And please tell your friends. And if you uh, just come and comment below, just have yeah. a chat. Yes, yeah, so uh, let you, us know what you guys have been up to. Yeah, mm. like well, yeah, have things been getting busy for you? What's kind of like mm. what's been happening? Mm. Um, yeah, we okay. kind of okay. I'm gonna bubble now too. I need okay. to stop. Okay, then bye. bye.